Hey guys, what's going on? It's Hugo here. Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I have something different for you guys. I have no reaction for that, guys. Today, I went out and bought a hundred pound pit bike project. Um, apparently, it's working apart from the engine needs a little bit of work on because the clutch doesn't um, catch and it's not engaging. When we arrived and picked up the bike, it was it was what I was expecting for hundred pound. Um, it was very much the rolling set shafts. Sash, sash, yeah, I can't say the word. Rolling frame, wheels, and all that kind of stuff. And he said that you know the clutch doesn't engage properly. So we brought it home, and now looking at it, then yeah, it's a bit more than just a clutch. We need a new back wheel. Uh, the frame needs sorting out. Uh, possibly new plastics. They're looking okay. I've cleaned them up, but we could still do with new plastics. Brakes need sorting. Brake discs needs a chain. Needs an exhaust. It's carb filter, electric, everything pretty much, CDI and a loop, kickstart, gear selector, so yeah, there's a few things that we need for this to get it fully running, but I'm pretty pretty positive and I'm pretty certain that we can get this running by summer, guys, so I'm ready to start this little journey with you guys and I hope you guys are as well. There's probably going to be about five, ten videos on this. There's going to be a lot done to this bike, um, it's nowhere near done yet, I have, I, it doesn't even run for all I care right now, it is nothing, it's just parts for a pit bike to build, so yeah, we can see where we go guys, I hope you do enjoy this little series that I'm doing on my channel, and by the way, yes, it's all me is doing this, I'm going to have a little bit of help, but I'm going to try and do it all myself. Don't forget guys, if you do enjoy this type of content, or you just want to join on with the journey of this guys, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications, because I will be uploading these quite regularly. Let's just see where we go guys, I'll see you all in the next video, so let's get on to this. Let's go! So my next step is the front end, let's take the forks off, have a look at the headset bearings, um, clean the forks up because they're so rusted. They're washed, they're done. Um, what I'm gonna do, that's close, what I'm gonna do for these rusted parts because I can't get them off the life of day of me. Get them up. Um, and there, and there, and there, and yeah, all that. I'm gonna see how much a new one is, but if not, then I'm gonna completely strip the paint off here and respray it. This it's came out okay. Um, we got some rust dots, but it's came out pretty clean. Future will be getting a new one though, but this is just for the temporary, just to get it up and running. Then that one will do. The frame, again, there's a lot of bits where no matter how much I scrubbed, I just could not get the rust off. So, yeah, what I'm going to do for these is, again, um, strip it and just spray it black, straight over black with some lacquer on. Forks. So I've done this fork so far, obviously there's some bits here where the paint is scraped off. That's not an issue because the fork holders go in there. Um, I've managed to get as enough rust off as I can. Again, I'm going to be buying new uh, forks come May anyway. This, this is what it basically went, started off like. So yeah, I've, to be honest with you, I think I've done a good job. Guys, someone has literally used a bolt as a spacer. Like, right there, there is a bolt being used as a spacer. Oh, 
Okay, so plastics are off. Um, finally, a couple of screws were a little bit harder to get out than others. Um, they look pretty decent. They look restorable. The only problem is this bit by here. So guys, I don't know why I've just washed this, but it I can't use this back wheel anyway because as you can see here, the threads are actually snapped off and broke. Um, so I'm gonna have a look, see how much a new back wheel is, to be honest with you, because so far we've done the plastics. The plastics are as good as I'm gonna get them. They're much better than what they came like, and the seat, there's a few bits in the seats where I couldn't get out, but I'm going to order some um, white fabric stain remover to get rid of the stains on that white seat. Guys, once this is dry, I've got a sticker on there, which is like a monster sticker, which I want to take off because I've just realized that the, this riser, or this clamp, guys, is stomp. Finally guys, everything is clean and washed. That has literally taken me all day with brakes, but yeah, everything. Wheels are clean. Um, as I said, it's pointless cleaning the back wheel properly because it's broke anyway, so wheels are clean now. Um, along with tank, plastics, seat, bars, etc. Um, so, so I've just found a wire brush which I can get in on these bits which I'm gonna do and I'm gonna have a look online tonight for some spray and get these bits sprayed up nicely um, I'm not gonna go cheap job I'm gonna go good job and get the frame and the swing arm uh, sprayed because whichever job is on here right now just does not look good also we need to cut away at this which I'll probably do tomorrow and have a look at that um, everything else that can come inside Everything else, guys, is as it was, really. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm going to call it there for now. I've done quite a lot in this video. I've got two days. So, yesterday when I bought it and I started in the evening and then I finished off today, which is Sunday, we've managed to, well, in this video, we've managed to take it apart, clean it all up, see what's needed body-wise, frame-wise, seat plastic-wise, you know, all that kind of stuff. Tomorrow, we're going to start... I'm gonna finish off what I gotta do here, which is much to be honest with you, it's just sorting it all out, seeing what I fully need, start writing a list because I'm gonna order stuff on Thursday, go from there pretty much, but tomorrow we're gonna to start on the engine as well, um, or at least by the time you see the next video of this, we will have started on the engine, taking it apart, having a look, see what we need and see what we can do with the engine, because apparently that's all it needs is a clutch, or the only thing that's stopping it from fully working is the clutch, which we're gonna have a look at, to be honest with you, I think it's more than that, but we're gonna have a look anyway, I'm going to order some carbs, electrics and all that kind of stuff for it because it's got none of that and go from there. So I hope you will enjoy guys, something different on my channel, not something to do reactions and stuff like that, just something different and something that we can have fun with and try, try and get this 
running for the summer. Oh yeah, just to let you all guys know, just it's completely me doing all this. Um, the only time I will need help from men, <laughs> or at least from my boyfriend, is when I help is when the engine and when I need to use tools and stuff like that. And possibly, if I do come to changing the hub on the back wheel instead of buying a new back wheel while wow, that's windy, I'm sorry. Then that's the other time I'll need help because I have no idea where to even start with that. I, by the way, I just went through my memory because I run out of memory and deleted like two videos and I hope they wasn't needed for this video but I'm pretty sure they were needed for this video so you might be missing two bits of this video so yeah peace